Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm bringing you a new, hopefully monthly video. So this has kind of been something I've wanted to do for a while. And oftentimes I get a lot of like active wear, either like I buy it or like it's sent to me and stuff. And I can't do like a full review for every single thing. I really just don't have enough time to do review for everything. And sometimes if I get just like a new pattern or a new like update of something, I just don't feel like it deserves like an entire video. And then it would only be like four minutes or something. So it's like, anyway, so I I want there to be kind of like three components. I'm also still working on the title of this series. Maybe like I got a lot of suggestions on my Facebook group. So I'm working through those. And by the time I post this, obviously I will have decided on a title, but I want there to be kind of like three components. First of all, some new things I tried this month and like the hits or misses, things that I didn't get to do a full review on. Second, updating you guys on the things that I've been wearing most for the month, like my go-to pieces and any updates on any products that haven't held up or things that have held up well, which I think is missing from a lot of reviews because especially even my reviews, like I just kind of try them and you don't really get to test things long term. And just like kind of the nature of like doing so many activewear reviews, there's only so many days a week I go to the gym. So it's not like I wear one legging for like, you know, 10 times in a month. And for you guys watching, you probably don't have as many leggings as me because it's an excessive amount that no one needs. So maybe you do want to see how something holds up for a long period of time. So I'm going to be updating you guys on that. And the third thing is any upcoming launches that I'm kind of excited about, things to look out for. It's not gonna be like every launch for the next month, but the things I'm looking at, I only have like two on my mind for this video. Anyways, I'm super excited. This is kind of gonna be like a little more chatty style video and it'll just allow me to talk about a few more things that I get questions about and that I don't always have time to make a full video for. So without further ado, let's start the first part, little mini reviews. So I just have a giant pile of stuff here because I just tried on like 10 pairs of leggings. That's always my least favorite part of like big haul videos. Occasionally I'll have like some rude person comment on my videos saying like, you're so out of breath. You try on 10 pairs of leggings in five minutes and let me know if you're out of breath. Cause I think you will be. The first kind of update review I wanna do is for Colorful Koala. If you're not familiar with Colorful Koala, they started on Amazon, but they have their own website. On their website, I do have a discount code for 10% off, so it makes it a little cheaper. But I've been wearing these leggings for like two years now, and they're just my holy grail. Anytime anyone asks me for a pair of leggings, this is probably my number one recommendation. They're soft, they're flattering on basically everyone. They're affordable, they're under $30, and they just keep making improvements, and I just love them. My favorite fabric from them is the fabric that is with with their brushed 25 to 28 inch inseam leggings, pattern leggings and pocket leggings. Those are all the same fabric, a very durable brushed material with about a medium compression. I have these pocket legging ones in a size small and I also got an extra small to see if that fit me better. And I think I actually do like the extra small because the waist is just a little more snug on me. So depending on your waist size, I may suggest sizing down in Colorful Koala. A lot of people do. I've been wearing small for a while and the waistband is just a little big. They never fell down on me because the leggings do have a good amount of hold, but I was surprised that I actually do like the extra small. I do wear a small in their shorts, but for the leggings, I'm going with the size down. They also have some new fun patterns and prints, and this is like the rock stratum print, which is a really nice kind of like neutral, just light tone print, which I thought was really cute. I've been asked so many times about sizing for Colorful Koala, so I think I can confidently say that now I wear an extra small. Next, we have a brand that is kind of new, but I am definitely a fan of them so far. It's the brand Nasty Fit. And I have to say, it seems like every influencer lately is coming out with activewear. And I feel like a lot of it is kind of like run of the mill. It's all really like kind of the same. I'll, I just don't really think that everyone needs to come out with their own activewear line. And don't even get me started on glute bands. If I see one more person come out with their own glute bands, I swear I'm quitting. Just know you guys will never see me selling glute bands. You're welcome. Anyways, the reason why I like this brand is because they're actually doing something like unique and different. Like I can't say that I have a legging that looks exactly like these. So these are their contour leggings. And instead of just having kind of like a printed on contour detail, these are actually like sewn in as a different fabric. The blue little contour part feels slightly more performance, but the rest of the legging is like kind of like a thick brush material. Feels very similar to the colorful koala. Anyways, they're very flattering on the glutes and I really like the style. I know it's a little controversial, I think, but I'm, I'm a fan. They also have a little contour down the leg. They also have no front seam, which I'm a huge fan of. My only critiques is that they do 
still have a band at the top of the waistband, which I would like to see them get rid of at some point. This is also more of like a mid to high rise. I would like it to be a little more high rise just for me personally. And I also think that this logo takes away from the whole look to me. Like you don't really need a logo on your leggings when they're already so distinct. I don't know, that's just my opinion. I don't love huge branding. And another thing that often happens with actually a lot of brands is that their leggings are like spot on and then their sports bras have like zero support, but their sports bras are actually pretty nice. This one has removable pads and a deep V. This one actually has really good coverage and probably like medium to high support, which is pretty surprising. A little crisscross back and it has this like thick elastic band at the bottom of the sports bra. Like this is like a big elastic thing, which I thought was going to irritate me, but it actually sat really well along my rib cage. It was actually very comfortable. So I actually liked the sports bra as well. And I have one more pair of leggings from them. I forget what these ones are called, but they have a lot of seam. And this feels like the same fabric as the like base of the contour ones. It's very thick, very brushed, attracts a little bit of lint and it might pill, but so far so good for me. The branding is a little more subtle on this one. There's just like a little nasty fit right here. They have pockets. This one also has a top seam. It's a little higher waisted. No front seam again, which I love. And it has this like seam that goes right under the butt, which I thought I wouldn't like, but it actually kind of like lifts my glutes a little bit. And honestly, I felt like it looked pretty good. But my main critique with these is if you have big calves, these are probably a no because there's a seam that goes right over the calf that just cuts into my calf so much that it's like actually painful and like leaves a mark. I've seen other leggings do the same thing and they put a seam like right in the middle of my calf and I'm like, hello, like I have big calves and that's not gonna work for me. That was my only thing, but if you don't have big calves, it shouldn't be an issue. And the sports bra that matches this one is also really cute. It's one of those ones that has like a little cutout, but this one doesn't come too close to my neck, which I appreciate. And it goes into like this little strappy, very open back. And it was also probably a medium to high support. Next, we're moving on to a few new prints from CLS. They just launched a ton of new, very bright prints, which honestly, they're not gonna be for everyone. I don't love every single print that they launched, but these ones kind of reminded me of like a ladybug and I was kind of a fan of it. It does have a matching sports bra, which is very low coverage for me. Um, but anyway, this print is so bright that I probably would wear it with just a plain black sports bra anyway. But I just love the shape of a lot of their leggings. They just have so many flattering features like the cross waist slight v waist too so it comes down for a little extra tummy control seamless at the top and they also have a scrunch in the back so if you're into scrunches these are kind of the main place for scrunch leggings i also love supporting women-owned brands and cls is a woman-owned brand so love to see that so i have this print which is kind of like this like ladybug print it's not really meant to be ladybug but that's what i've been calling it and then i also have i believe these are like the yoga shape leggings i forget if that's actually what these ones are but these ones have just a solid waistband also comes down in the front and these ones also have a scrunch this is like a very neon print i feel like this is very 80s vibes 70s i don't know which one was the bright colors and then i think this has to be my least favorite of the prints that i got at least it's supposed to be like flames i'm just not like a huge fan of the colors but i do like the shorts in general they are seamless waistband they also have a cross waist which i don't see a lot of cross waist shorts and they have this little mesh panel down the side which is quite nice i wear a small and all of their stuff and i think they adjusted their sizing because it used to run a little bit big but all this stuff seems to fit me very well in size small. And the last thing I want to talk about is this little mineral wash set from NUX. This is kind of an expensive brand, so it's not going to be for everyone, but I just love this bubblegum pink color. I feel like you don't see it very much, but they're these nice seamless leggings with a really nice compressive waistband. And it does have a slight mineral wash, so it's not just like solid pink. And the leggings are super, super soft, very comfortable. My only thing with them is they do a little bit of crotch gathering in the front, kind of like the old like Alphalete Aero leggings, except I think it's a little better on these. And they also have the matching bra, which I don't love the bra just because it is a little bit thin, very, very light support, and you can kind of see the cut pads. So the bra is not my favorite, but I actually really like the leggings. I mostly just like the colors. It's just so pretty. Now moving on to my most worn pieces of the month. I don't usually rewear a whole lot of stuff just because I do like to try a lot of things since I'm trying to like review a lot. But lately I've been working out outside and I really can't wear a lot of leggings because it's just so hot. So I've kind of been gravitating towards the same handful of things. So my number one most worn item is the Buff Bunny Live shorts. I know we're all tired of me mentioning them, but I seriously wear these probably twice a week or maybe even more. They're just perfect. I've done multiple little reviews chats about these. I just love them. The main reason I love them is because they have a five inch inseam and I don't have to like pick them out of my thighs at the gym because they don't roll up on me, which is huge. Most shorts do. Usually four inch inseams do. Those, my thighs eat them right up. But I believe these launched in like June 
and it's now the end of August and I've worn them at least once a week since then and I wash them every time and they have held up literally perfectly. They look exactly the same as I first got them. I don't usually wash and wear things that much. Like I said, I don't like really repeat a ton of stuff. And when they restock, I'm getting the other two colors because I think these are like my holy grail shorts. I hope that's in focus. This is the fabric, literally no pilling or anything, like not even the beginnings of pilling. And I've washed them so many times. I've even accidentally dried them once or twice. Second most worn, colorful koala pocket shorts. These are a six inch in seam so also very good for not writing up but these have pockets these are kind of my go-to shorts that i wear on walks because it's nice to have a pocket for when you go on walks hold your keys your phone and i have worn these a bunch as well and they are also really holding up and definitely been a staple for me next i have the airy real me cross waist leggings i just love these so much they feel like nothing and i can wear them working out outside and they just don't make me feel hot or you know just like constricted at all i love super stretch lightweight leggings especially for the summer these I've worn them for two workouts now so it hasn't been like the most comprehensive but I do feel like I am going to see these hilling at some point which is really a bummer because I really love them okay it looks really bad on camera but you can just see it is starting to kind of get a little fuzzy this is kind of on my butt so like you know where I'd be sitting and this is on the bottom of the leg so it hasn't really seen much in terms of like distress in this you can already tell this is much less fuzzy so i do think that these are gonna pill and i'm really bummed but you know what next month i'll keep you updated again because i'll be wearing these again and we'll see if they truly pill the last set that i've been living in is the tear set i know these are like the bare leggings and i forgot what the top is called but this is just like one of my new favorite things and they've actually held up really well i've worn these a handful of times and the fabric is more of a sleek performance material not shiny though and i haven't had any signs of pilling and i've worn these on like leg days with bands and everything and they have been really great the sports bra is actually pretty supportive for a spaghetti strap which is very impressive and they did say on their instagram that they will be bringing these back i believe i don't know if they'll be restocking these colors but they will definitely be bringing new colors of this exact pair of leggings so these are bomb curved booty seams great for the booty seamless waistband and no front seam so these are winners i love the tier sets and i realized i haven't talked about a lot of bras but i kind of always gravitate towards the same bras and usually with colored leggings i like to wear like black or white bras and i've been loving this one this is the vibe bra from buff bunny and i think that these are kind of picked over at this point this launched like last year but it held stock for a long time and i just love the little asymmetrical design and it's actually decently supportive most buff bunny bras do at least have a medium support for me and then also i love the allure laser bra it's one of my favorite bras from them of all time very supportive and i've worn it a million times and actually both of these fabrics i believe they're the same fabrics have totally held up they are more of a performance sleek fabric and finally on to upcoming launches that i'm looking forward to so i reviewed petula a while ago oftentimes i get people asking me to review petula and i'm like listen type into the youtube search bar my name petula there it is already done a review on them and I really actually love their stuff. It was very high quality, very nice stuff. And on September 2nd, they're launching these bike shorts that have no front seam. They have these little like double seams at the back and they have a six inch and an eight inch. And so far I've only seen black, which is a little disappointing because I like to wear colors, but I'm super pumped about that. And I will definitely be getting those because I'm addicted to bike shorts. And then on September 21st, I've gotten a ton of questions about this. Chrissy Chella's activewear line is launching. And I don't know how to say the name of this brand. It's either owner or oneer. Um, I don't really get it. Someone tell me below, please help me out. So to answer your questions, I will be reviewing this. That's if it doesn't like sell out instantly, I will try to be on the launch right at the time. But this is kind of one of those like influencer creates activewear lines that I'm like not super excited about because none of it looks super unique to me and she did say that it would be affordable but i just kind of have a feeling that it'll be kind of like like gymshark maybe a little more expensive price range and i don't know it just kind of looks like a gymshark women's best kind of like style collection so if it's like solid then you know what all for it but not super exciting at the moment so those are the only launches that i know about currently i know there will be more launches but feel free to comment down below what you're excited about and that wraps up this little like activewear chat video of the month i'm gonna have to figure out how to talk less because i just talk a lot when i see a pair of leggings i gotta tell all the details and there's just no time to do that if i'm talking about 10 pairs of leggings so i'll work on it and any other suggestions you think i should add to this style of monthly video 
video, comment them down below, always trying to improve. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you wanna see this monthly and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.